Okay, on to the next video. This one is about um, creating user scripts. We're going to still be messing with the game Minecraft, which from the last video we seen we created infinite health and infinite stamina. So we're going to put that into a user script, which we're using the extension for Google Chrome called Tamper Monkey. Um, so as you can see, I have the menu right here. Then we go to the dashboard, and we're going to create a new one with this plus sign. So from here, you can name your user script. Um, since we open up the dashboard from uh, the game, it already is set to match that URL. So all we have to do here is just start coding. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start creating our variables. So variable uh, s health and s stamina. So I created two variables. Now we're going to add an on key listener. So document dot add event listener and we're gonna use the key up listener and we're gonna create our function. Let me see. All right, so here's our key up listener. Let's see. We got our comma. All right. So here's our event. And what we're going to do now is we have to detect the key. So uh, and I forgot how to do this already. Okay, okay, I remember now. So I want to do let key equals e dot switch or e dot key code. I believe that's correct. So now we're going to do so if key is equal to one uh, as health equals true. Uh, hopefully this works. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do function update equals uh, this update function set timeout update now from here we're gonna put if now what we're gonna do s health we're going to do our uh, shorthand if condition. So if it's true, then we're going to. Shoot. All, right, all right. If it's true, we're going to set our current health. Uh, we're going to set our current health to our max health and uh, if false then return I believe 
Or, no, maybe not. Six foot. Zero. What is this one? Ten player? Okay, I don't care about that. So let's see if this works at all. Let's see, uh, F5. So I have to find an enemy. There's way too many trees here. Alright, that didn't work. Alright, so we're going to change this one to 49. Save. And refresh. Let's try this again. So, you know what? We're going to this right here. Press 1. That's not working. Uh, let's see. If if that's held, then current player dot health equals ten. Oh, we haven't even called up there yet. So, we're gonna enclose this in an automatically invoked function. So, it's gonna run as soon as the script is loaded. Let's go ahead and refresh. Go and look for something to damage us. This will I do. Alright, I found an enemy. I just pressed one and saw my health filled up. So it is working. So now we have our uh, health hack working. So let's go ahead and set up our stamina. And this is gonna say health I mean, S stamina. So we're gonna do if key fifty, which should be key two. Uh, S stamina is true. So this is just a key, uh, a simple user script um, that will save right here. You can enable it, disable it whenever you want, come back and update it, and it's always going to be pointed at the URL of the game. So anytime you join it or visit the website, your user script will enable itself. So let's check out our stamina, just press 2. As you can see, it's infinite. You can uh, have your user script do other things as well, like uh, spawning all those items like I did before by pressing the number three. Whatever you wanted to do, um, this is just a simple introduction to user scripts. You can use it on other games such as Crunker. Infinite Health, as you can see. Uh, I believe that's about it for this video. Mm. Not much else I can show.